There's a Gizwiz announcement. We are doing a meetup on October 8th in New York City at the Boat Basin Cafe. If you want more information, you can head on over to gizwiz.biz and click on Dick's Login Blog, and there'll be information with the address and everything that you need to know. I hope to see you in New York. Now time for the Gizwiz. It's time for the Gizwiz with Maz Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1638, recorded Thursday, August 31st. A case for cinema. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have the most enjoyable phone case, a way to carry pills and water wherever you go, and the end of my thrift store theme, all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! It is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is, the only expert on gadgets that you turn to, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dick? Chad, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. It, 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 so, is, it feels like it's been a long time. Yes. Whew. Yes. So you, you have to tell us okay. wh- uh, about your trip. And was, like, what was, the, what was the most exciting uh, yeah, thing? Yeah, I'll give you some summaries. Microsoft okay, good. Um, sent me up to Sweden. Uh, I stayed in Stockholm for three nights. Uh, did some amazing... No days, just three nights? Just nights. Oh, it just was, nights, It's yeah. like, it's like it's an a... Arctic up there. It was just <laughs> only nighttime. All the, There was this eclipse, you know. So, oh, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, it was just darkness. Um, and they had uh, all, all sorts of stuff planned for us. We went on speedboat trips. We went to an island and had these talks. We went to this old historic theater and uh, got to know each other. And then we did a scavenger hunt through... Uh, Stockholm, which was a great way to just walk around and see parks and see the area. Uh, it was just absolutely fun. We got a lot. We got to communicate, of course, with the people who make Minecraft. That was what the whole trip was kind of about, and um, it was just really, really fantastic. And then I and how many them. people were there? There was about forty creators, um, and then about twenty of the Microsoft staff. Microsoft and Mojang uh, uh, staff, and yeah, and then and then some like other people who were like they they hired a production group to do stuff. Um, it was so fun, and then um, we I I convinced them to let me stay like three three extra days, and they said that's fine. Well, you know, flight the flight isn't much different, so we'll we'll give you the flight, but you'll have to figure out your own hotel. Uh, and I was like, you know, that's totally fair. So uh, I was, th- you know, I've done road trips and I've done traveling and I found that there's not really a big difference between booking a hotel the day of or uh, two weeks, three weeks ahead of time. I've never really had a problem finding a good hotel deal. Um, so the day of, I loaded up uh, Hotels.com, typed in Stockholm. And they have a little progress bar at the top that says how full the hotels are. And it went, boink, 99% of hotels were full on that day. And it was like... And they were all there to see you. Right, exactly. I had a stadium of people. No, I mean, it was just crazy. And I was like, huh, maybe Hotels.com, you know, isn't working with Stockholm. So I went down to the event staff and I said, hey, you know, I'm having trouble. I spent about an hour trying to find hotels. And I was thinking, maybe there's some Swedish website that I don't know about. So, hey, can you guys help me? They're like, oh, yeah, it's going to be no big deal. We worked for six hours to try to find a hotel. What? The so one what, was percent, there a big thing in town? There was like five things in town. There was a triathlon. <laughs> there was a hockey game. There was a convention. And apparently at that time of the year, every company independently brings in sales staff to to finish some government thing. So every, every like all the sales oh staff gosh. was in town. Um and we looked for hours, the, the like 1% of hotels that were available. There was a $1,500 a night presidential suite, and there was like some hostels. 
and there were four of us, four people who all did the same thing I did, that we uh, decided we'd get a hotel, we didn't worry about it, we, we looked at Airbnbs, there were no Airbnbs, oh we looked God. everywhere. We spent six hours easily <laughs> looking for hotels and uh, we just gave up. So we decided to catch a train, the four of us, uh, of the people who all decided to look for a hotel day of, and we went up to a town about an hour train ride north called Uppsala and stayed there for one night. It was just, there was just one night that was the pinnacle night, and that was the night. And then we, I uh, took the train back the next day and stayed in Stockholm for the, the rest of the, the trip. Um, but Uppsala was fantastic, Stockholm was fantastic. Uh, other than that one road bump, it was just an amazing wow. trip. It was just an amazing trip. And I got to stop by uh, your hometown, New York, uh, for like yes. 30 minutes. I had a seven hour layover and I was thinking, oh, I'll have so much time to do so much stuff. Um, once the plane landed, it took me an hour just to get to a point where I could like call an Uber. Um, and then I took a train into New York. That took 30 minutes. Um, and then, of course, I needed to leave time to get on yes, to the go. next plane and to get back. So that was like two and a half hours, that, you know, I set aside. Um, and so I really didn't have much time at all in New York. I thought seven hours was so much time, but it ended up being so short. Um, so I uh, went to Times Square, took some photos, and headed, oh, great. headed back. Yeah. Um, but that was fun. And then I got to uh, Penn Station and they canceled. I didn't even know. I'm so much of like a, I guess a country bumpkin. I don't, I didn't know this. They canceled trains all the time. They canceled, oh, sorry, it, canceling yes, trains. It, it, it's called Summer of Hell in New York City. I it's didn't know this. <laughs> there are so many breakdowns that they are redoing all no this idea. trackage in and out of Penn Station. And they are canceling about a third, 30% yeah. of all trains. I got there and I was like, okay, I have five minutes till the train leaves. And I look up, that one's canceled. The next one's canceled. The next one's canceled. And all of all the ones that were canceled were the ones, go there were some that were still running, but they were all, the ones I needed were all going to the airport. That was terrifying. I had to wait oh 30 minutes in the gosh. airport. Thinking, and I'm like, what happens if they just keep canceling them? What happens? I guess I have to get an Uber um, or some, a taxi or something to... Uh... Oh my God. And where was your luggage in the meantime? So what's interesting is it was an international flight and the travel agent um, booked it so that the the flights had shared tickets or something. Oh, so yeah. My luggage actually... So what's cool on... on uh, the international flight is, is it was a, the, you know, you got free checked luggage. So um, I just checked all of it. I, I it was, go, Going there, I took it all carry on because I was worried about it getting lost. But coming back, I was like, if it gets lost, it takes two days to get back to my house. I don't care. So I checked really everything except for a backpack and then uh, just had a backpack around New York. And it was fantastic. So, yeah. Great. Yeah. I had a really good trip. It was really great. Um, yeah. And if so the only thing you missed here was the eclipse. From Microsoft, I, I suggest it. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll wait for the invite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, if you get that opportunity, you go ahead and take it. Oh, okay. I will. <laughs> yeah. How was the eclipse? Did you get to see? Uh, you know, the, the eclipse was, was great. And uh, I ended up using the glasses because I said, you know, I'm just going to peek for 30 seconds, you, you know, <laughs> yeah. there was a thing with that Amazon said, we yeah, can't prove Yeah, they recalled everything in like they, they two minutes prove before that the they, elect, uh, eclipse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the glasses are quite amazing because you look up and you say, well, what's the big deal? And then when you put the glasses on, you actually see the, the uh, moon moving over the earth. And we were just doing 30 second peaks and I was a big hero because no one at the marina had bought glasses. And I said, to everybody, look, Amazon hasn't proved that these are authentic, but if you want to <laughs> use try at your them. own risk, so everybody was uh, shooting pictures through them. And well, that's uh, cool. so that was, it was fun. And but, you, you know, it was a, only a few. So you had like. A, a gross of the I had a dozen. But then at 2.44, the, the point of 71% eclipse, which is the most the city was going to get, 
clouds covered the sun. Oh, so no. That's okay. I figured that was Mother Nature's way of saying, if you don't have glasses, I'm not letting you look. <laughs> exactly. I'm doing you and a then, favor. A, a little a do minute, you know. Yeah. And a, a couple of minutes later, it went away. So it was great fun. That's um, awesome. That is yeah. really, really cool. Um, so I guess let's jump into some gadgets. Yeah, we're, we're back Catch to stuff. Uh, let's start with gadget number one. Here's the video. Dick Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I rarely do phone cases on the Gizwiz, but I found the phone case I think the Gizwiz audience will like. I know that a lot of you shoot videos and use your phone to shoot videos. That's what we do. This is an LG G6 that we're using. But uh, I'm on my way to Vegas to do Interbike and... I'm not going to have Dennis or Michael Summer, who usually is in Vegas to shoot videos. So I thought, I'm not going to use my own phone. I'm going to take the Galaxy Note 4, which we've also used. But I wanted to get something different for it. And I thought, what if someone made a phone case that looked like a, a director's clapboard? Remember the clapboard? You've seen him in movies about Hollywood. You hit them together and that makes a sound so that when they uh, sync the move the sound with the film they use the clap as the starting point so i did a web search and ta -da, ta -da, ladies and gentlemen the clapboard phone case <laughs> this is really neat it's very inexpensive i found it uh online at a, a place called casepasana.com uh very inexpensive $14 and they make two versions the one i have here is called the thin case okay and they also make the bumper case okay and you can get the bumper case in white if you want and they say that that will protect the phone if you drop it uh i just have the thin case um, uh, a couple of minor things. When when they put this on the case, they didn't quite match it up. You can see it sort of runs uphill there, down in the corner. You can see some white peeking through. And also, for some strange reason, in one of the four corners, <laughs> it doesn't lock. But I just love the look of it. And what I'm going to do is use tape. Put tape here, and if you've ever been in the studio, you know they use tape. We're going to show you over there. So there's an actual clapboard from Godfather 1. So what they do is they put tape on so that they can change it really quickly. They used to use chalk, but that became kind of a hassle. That clapboard, by the way, uh, is for sale, and the price, is, hasn't, the price hasn't been set. It's anywhere from four to $6,000. Um, this one, when we're done with it, this will sell anywhere from four to six dollars, <laughs> will be my guess. Um, and the only other thing is, you know, when you order stuff, you want it fast, especially when you've been shopping on Amazon. So the case was 14 bucks. I spent another eight dollars, seven ninety five for rush shipping. Uh, and that took 10 days. So I don't know, uh, if you didn't order the rush shipping, maybe I'd still be waiting for it. I ordered it on August 19th and it came on, uh, yeah, I ordered it on August 19th and it came on August 29th, but that's it. And, oh yeah, this is what my $7.95 shipping uh, brought. I would thought maybe priority mail, but <laughs> nah, just showed up in this. But Not I like even it. a box. No. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Madness writer and the Gizwiz. One Take Theater at gizwiz.tv. Bye. My one question is, can you write on it? Could you like use you it You know what? Someone clapper? in the chat room was just saying that. Um, I don't know. I didn't want to tr experiment before I did the video, yeah. which I, like just, I just did la la last things. night. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll try that. If not, I'm just going to get little tape like they do, uh, these I'm, days. I'm and, oh my gosh. I've grown. Oh, your cat must be, oh, well, your pet, oh, Charlie must've went berserk when you came home. Right? Yeah, exactly. I've grown something. <laughs> Sorry. I was, it was hitting the mic and I couldn't get her off. So I decided to cut over to it. 
Um, yeah, if it's dry erase, it would be great. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, and then also, like, it, I wonder if you could download an app that would flash the LED and oh. make an audible beep, and then you could actually use it as a clapboard for, that, you know, whatever. That, I, I thought about Flash. getting a chopstick or something to put on the top <laughs> with a little piece of tape so I could clap it together. And uh, as, as I made a note in the show notes, turns out a lot of companies make these, but the majority of them make the clapboard in the vertical position, which looks stupid. Yeah. Because there's no room it's to write anything. Really yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. Clapboards are horizontal. And that company, uh, uh, Case Persona, makes that the director's phone case for 27 different phones. Wow. Yeah, it's the most phone cases I've seen, um, the, the most models for a, a single phone, yeah. a, a single case. So it's pretty interesting. Maybe that's why they take so long. Maybe they, maybe they, they just... Almost, crank them out. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is a uh, print-on-demand service. Oh, that, you know, that probably is. is uh, that probably is. I have, yeah, I don't know how to f figure that out, but... Yeah, no, it's... Oh, uh, and one... You know, mine does seem to be aluminum. One place it says plastic, one point... Uh, one place it says aluminum, but mine is very sturdy. That's good. And, uh, yeah, I think it is aluminum, but it's and pretty neat. It is definitely very really hard to, if you find a great looking phone case, <laughs> to find the one that's made for your phone. Yes! It's so yes! hard. It's like, oh, oh, this one's great. Oh, it's only made for iPhone. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. Yes, yes. iPhone people have the easiest oh, time. Oh, yeah. They have yes. it, the, the case world in their pocket. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Cool. And then I thought, you know what? I have an LG G6. I bet they make that. And I go, uh, LG G3, LG G4, LG G5. End of list. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't have Come made on. one more. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So pa yeah. Case Persona is the place to do it. It looks like they are just all about cases. Really, really cool um, website. Yeah, they have, they have a lot of fun stuff. Perfect. Okay, with that, I guess let's move on to the oh, next gadget. Okay, gadget number two. If you like monitors, you'll like this. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madest writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Do you like using a lot of monitors? I do. Uh, I do. For example, well, we're going to be talking about this uh, pluggable USB device here. So I have it up on this screen, but normally when I'm recording the Gizwiz show or talking uh, to Leo at Twit, this monitor has either Twit or Gizwiz.tv on it, and it is reflected on that monitor over there. And the reason for that is below that monitor is the computer I use exclusively for the Gizwiz with Chad, or Twit with Leo, or Gizfiz PM. So that way I have the computer, and right above it, I have the chat room. Now, next to the computer I use there, if I have a few guests, that computer is connected to this monitor so that they can see the live show so that there's no lag. Uh, if a lot of people come, then I use this 43-inch uh, monitor and put the program on that. And then unrelated to Twit and to the Gizwiz are my drop cam monitors, or actually one monitor. Uh, I can uh, look at the transom of my boat and see out the side window of my boat. Okay, a long way to talk about uh, this pluggable device. Okay, here it is. And it's a pluggable USB 3.0. So if you like a lot of monitors, so you know, with almost any PC or laptop, you can output to a second monitor. All you need is a cable. But then if you want a third monitor, with some computers you can do that. You can use HDMI out to one monitor and VGA out to another monitor. But if you want to make it easy or go to a fourth monitor or up to six monitors, you can use a pluggable device like this. 
So I was ordering it, and actually I ordered it and then canceled it real quick because I thought, wait a minute, why did I order uh, USB 2.0? I should get 3.0. It's like $15 more, but uh, it's high resolution that they can put through that. This goes into your computer, okay? And then DVI out. But it comes with these two adapters. So if you want to go uh, DVI out, you can go to HDMI. Or you can plug it in and go to VGA. So each pluggable device can just power one monitor, okay? And also, a lot of it is going to depend on how powerful your computer is that it can drive other monitors. Uh, this one is uh, $46.95 uh, on Amazon. Got pretty good reviews, like uh, maybe it was four and a half stars from 956 customers. It does come with software, but pluggable is on the ball. About two hours after I ordered this on Amazon, I got an email from pluggable saying, thank you for ordering our device. Uh, we know... <laughs> We know people love gadgets and want to play with them as soon as they get them. So why don't you download the software now? Which is good because these days a lot of people don't have uh, a DVD player. So you just follow the link and download the software. So that's it. Again, if you want to add a lot of monitors, you can do probably two or three from what you have now with just cables and adapters. For example, the little Acer is micro HDMI out, so I had to get a micro HDMI out to a full-size HDMI uh, to hook it up to a monitor. But it can be done. Dick Bartolo, Mads, Madest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. What monitor do I look at? What monitor am I on? <laughs> I am so confused. You do have a lot. Bye. Holy cow. Uh, I thought I had a lot, man. Uh, I mean, I, I, oh my gosh, I almost want to buy this right now uh, because for the Gizwiz, I need monitors, especially for any video live streaming. Sometimes I'll, I'll need a monitor just as a video source for something else. Sometimes it's really hard to get a clean video source for even bringing in, like for you, exam, for example, it's hard for me to get a program that outputs to a fake webcam basically so another program could use it. What I'm using for you is a screen capture of a monitor so that you can get return video. Uh -uh. And so if I, I, right now it's plugged in uh, via HDMI, but my computer only has so many HDMI ports. I need to buy converters uh, from the DVI to HDMI or cables that do it for me. So having a USB device that can output to DVI uh, is really useful because I have a lot more USB ports. Yeah, and, than and if I you just need uh, USB 2.0, I think it's twenty nine dollars. That's nice. That is very uh, very nice. Yeah, I, I have one of those um, here, and then I was I had, was just reordering that, and then I, and then I um, that's the one. That's a that's yeah, this three. one. Yeah, <clears throat> that's this one with the three uh, things. Um, yeah, no. It works really well, and and I misread on the screen. I assume it's not recommended for gaming. Uh, I realized on the box it says not recommended for 3D gaming. Oh, yeah, interesting. So. Very very cool. Yeah, I I think this is a really nice uh, addition to anyone's tech, you know, bag, uh, especially if you were running off of a laptop. I, I could I could see so many situations. Yeah, where you know what? People had so many great uses for them someone said this saved my life i broke my laptop screen oh yeah but, but i love my laptop there you so go. i just output from the hdm out of my of my yeah. laptop and put another yeah. another monitor there i mean you're not going to carry it around in the street right but if, if you're using it in an office or in a, uh on a on a desk it's a perfect way to get a second screen. Yeah, and I could see, uh, you know, some tech support agent. That's a great way to, app, you know, add a monitor real quickly and then, cop, you know, fix their files back up the, the computer so they could get a new computer, something like that. Very, very cool. Yeah. I, I, might, I might be getting one of these later because there's definitely been times 
when I have just run, just completely run out of video sources on my computer in the uh, office that I use to stream from. I have three normal monitors. I have another monitor that I output to the stream so I can go to a streaming computer. And then I sometimes have another monitor, which is the Vive. The Vive headset, the, the virtual reality headset plugs into HDMI as well. So I'm always running, I'm always going yeah. back there and unplugging and replugging stuff in to get it to work. Uh, so. And we're not alone because on Amazon, uh, the copy says you can use up to six of these. Pluggable Perfect. says you can hook up to six monitors. I mean, you need to have a computer that has more than an Atom chip in it. But then someone uh, in the comments goes, six? I'm running nine monitors <laughs> from my computer. <laughs> you can put 12 on it if you really want. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, the reviews yeah. also mention that, uh, first off, the reviews are very, very good. And many people specifically say that the company Pluggable is a is a good company. I yeah. can't vouch for them, but that's what they're saying. I they can't. Reviews. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I I have about three of those devices uh, of their devices here. Um, okay, uh, my final gadget for the week is a tiny little guy that's very useful. Let's watch. Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, Mad's Maddest Writer, One Take Theater, here at gizwiz.tv. Okay, what the heck is it? A, a mini glass. lava lamp? Um. No? Okay. Um, it is called port o pill oh, I thought it was a tiny aquarium. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> it could be. I think this is a very clever gadget. And what it is, is an ounce and a half of water so that you can throw it in a backpack or in a pocketbook. Ladies can put it in a pocketbook. I've had it upside down for hours and because someone said, oh, it leaked and ruined all my pills. So ounce and a half of water here. And then the top has a separate locking lid where the pills go okay now i put four uh i take leucosamin chondroitin so as you can see i could probably get five of them in there but it's not the kind of thing that you would be carrying with you every day and if you did you would just probably carry pills for the day but more likely you would be carrying something for an emergency maybe aspirin or on an airplane some sleeping pills and what's great about it is you know, if the plane is just taking off or, or the, the stewardess is not around, you can have your own little water supply, okay? So it's an ounce and a half of water, and then it has its own little lid that comes off here. And obviously, you can just drink right out of that. And well, I'm going to start taking this on trips with me. And, you know, I'll go through security with it empty and then just go to a water fountain and fill it up with the... Uh, uh, ounce and a half of water. Although online it says it's TSA certifiable because it's just an ounce and a half, up to three ounces. You know, anything you can put in one of those court bags. Uh, and dirt cheap. I don't know why. You have to click add to cart before the price comes up. But it is $5.20. And it's prime. I, I got it like in two days. So I think this is a great idea. Port O pill, pills plus water, anytime, anywhere. And now they say holds up to 10 pills. I guess if you put 10 aspirins in there, uh, it would be fine. You could use a vodka too. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis wants once we can have vodka in it. Uh, vodka and tiny little pretzels for the top. You have your <laughs> turn coach into first class for just $5.20. Uh, Dick DiBartolo, Maz Medis Rider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. I love that. I love that idea. It, isn't it's that clever? cheap? It's easy. It's clever. And absolutely, I, for, um, for a while, I had uh, anxiety medicine that uh, I would, I only had in case of an emergency. Yeah. And I could, uh, it was for that sort of thing, like your plane is taking off, you get hit with a panic attack, 
you got, you know, take this pill when you're having a panic attack. <laughs> it never occurred to me I probably wouldn't have water. Uh, yes. That's, that's, uh, that's fantastic. I mean, also, for someone who's who may need to take pills daily, this sounds great, is you just load up your pills in the morning, make sure you have water with you wherever you are when the alarm goes off to take your pills, you have a source of, of clean water. You know, you know, if maybe some people, and I can understand why, don't like water fountains, you know that the water in that, uh, the porta pill is, uh, is clean. This is great. Yeah. I really, really, yeah, really I like, like it. I like it too. And the ounce and a half means you can go through security with it. And yeah, I have the same problem. I, I fear uh, getting stuck in subway trains. In, yeah. in the tunnel, in yeah. the tunnel. And I think, you know what? I'm just going to carry this in my backpack now with uh, not Dramamine, but uh, Diamond Hydramine, which is something that uh, people take to fall asleep. But it, it also starts to calm you down because it, uh, it's going to eventually put you to sleep. Uh, but I, I, I sometimes carry the pills with me and I think, well, in an emergency, I'll just swallow the pills with no water, but this is an easy way. And in my backpack, I'm not going to notice that I haven't, uh, you yeah, know, th ounce. that I'm yeah. going to have this little thing with it with carried with me. So, yeah. and also I, I, I suddenly, as Dennis pointed out, uh, when he said the person who said it leaked and ruined their pills, how could that happen? Because the pills are in another compartment. So if the water leaked, it would just leak out of it. I don't see how it could leak. And the get only thing into I can think pills. of is there's a crack in the lid itself. Oh, that could and be. And then it maybe, fell in. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe yeah. that. She got a defective one. Anyway. But cheap, cheap, cheap. Five dollars. Cheap. I already, I already ordered another oh one for gosh. Dennis for for his vodka. Just put it in your cart, and eventually, you know, when you check out in a month, it'll it'll be there. It's <laughs> so easy. Wow. Very nice. Port a pill. Very Port -a -pill. good gadget. Very good gadget. Okay. It is and time. now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to visit Chad's. You know, you don't know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but you might want it at Ooh, Chad's. Chad's. Yeah. Crappy oh. Corner. Oh. Get it. Oh, Chad's. my. Okay, so uh, this is wow. the very final day, the last day we could ever possibly do the thrift store gadget. It's actually the last day of the month. The day that this video publishes will no longer be the correct month. Um, but we thought since we record the episode, we'll we'll do keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. So I went I went on to, down to Goodwill and found a a game uh, still in its packaging. Earlier today, I recorded a little video about it. So let's wow. check it out. Hey, diggity. Hopefully we've got it right this time and this room isn't echoey. That's what I hope. Uh, this is the jigsaw puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle, but oh. this has a very, very cool feature in that you take a selfie, then use software, and it gives you a puzzle pattern that you print, and then it can make your selfie, or really any image, into your own jigsaw puzzle. Now it pulls this off that all the puzzle pieces can connect to each other in any way. Uh, it's not really a jigsaw puzzle in that you need to get the edges to, to click together. You're just trying to match the pattern that you see with the software that it gives you. This is brand new. The, the packaging is still on it. I spent $4.99 on it. So let's go ahead and crack it open for the very first time and get the software and see how we can make a jigsaw puzzle. This is what it looks like inside. I have a CD-ROM. Luckily, I do have a computer that has a CD drive. And then all of these different patterns. And you can see that some of them are shaded, and you'll use this uh, to orientate it, so like maybe if you need an eyebrow or something like that. So we'll pop these out, and then you have this, whoa, there it goes, uh, this mat to put your jigsaw on and then also instructions on how to use it. Okay, so this is the install. Wow, thanks for all the noise. Okay, whoa. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so we're gonna start a new... Oh, 
Oh, I could add my own? Oh, that's so adorable. That's the whole thing. Okay, let's do a new one. Load a photo. It's quite a loud app. Apparently, I'm out of ink. So now I have the plans, uh, and these, it seems like you can just pull off the back and these should pop out. Something. I'm not ex Cool. Okay, cool. So now we have the, I can pop each one of these out individually. Okay, cool. Okay, it is finished. It took about an hour 20 to an hour and a half. And <laughs> this is it. Can you tell what it is? Oh, uh, I'm afraid this is, uh, I think it's Alfred a lawsuit Newman. is what it is. Uh, here's a little uh, <laughs> preview of, of what it was going to look like right there. Um, I'd say it looks pretty cool. Definitely up close, it doesn't look like anything at all, but uh, far away and squinting. <laughs> yeah, yes, like, uh, and, and knowing what the, what, what, what else can I is? say? Uh, yeah, five dollars uh, at Goodwill, pretty funny, and I guess you could you know pull it apart and reuse it and make something else. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, so, so, all the puzzle pieces are the same right so all the edges here i have the completed uh thing right here every edge is exactly the same so you can pick up a puzzle piece and place it back down in any orientation Let me oh i see so the uh ordinarily would would you have done your own picture yeah you can either do your own picture or it it has a few it built into the app uh, which was an Adobe Air app, um, uh, and you can choose like a cat or Mona Lisa or something like that. Oh, okay. So here, okay. I'll, I'll pull off one of these here. Also, this is what the back looks like. So the back has all these different icons, and woo, sorry about that glitchiness. Um, and so every icon is, is different, and every color, you know, so there's not a repeating icon with a repeating color. So the instructions that you print out say the, uh, you know, the, the kangaroo, the pink kangaroo goes upside down in the first little position. And so, oh, I see. It, oh, so it's you, like the, yeah, uh, you pick it if up you can and solve it, it. I got it. Right. And so this is what every single little piece looks like. Let me grab one out of there is that they, they're all the exact same edge. So they can go okay. upside down, left, right, whatever. Um, and then on the back, it makes it easier to see what the icon and the color is. Whoa, sorry about that glitchiness there. Uh, so this is the the <laughs> the sound uh, icon, and it was it was fairly easy to to figure out. Um, I I have to say I'm not exactly sure how this one goes back, but um, but yeah. So I could see you know it's it, it it's kind of a puzzle that keeps on giving. You know, you you could do <laughs> right. it once. Okay. And then right. try so to do it So would your own image be kind of blocky like that? Yeah, is absolutely. Your guess? Yeah. Okay. yeah, okay. Or your cat or whatever. And also yeah. it's a, it's an image that kind of needs some contrast. You can, I could tell that if it was just of, it's like concrete, one solid color, it probably wouldn't turn out so great. So the Alfred E. Newman photo was actually perfect because it had a, a light blue background and then, you know, Alfred E. Newman, um, if you did maybe a close-up of a cat's face, it may not be quite as nice. Um, okay. And also you well, you know, you, can, you could pass that off as your cat or as you, <laughs> you or go. as yeah. me. It's my fish, actually. Didn't you see? <laughs> yeah, and this is actually a photo of uh, my fish the whole time. You know, I found it on Amazon, Chad, for 65 cents. <laughs> I did, too. Did I did, you? too. Yeah. Yeah. But, but 65 cents, <laughs> but uh, uh, $5. Five, and yeah, there you yeah, are. Yeah, $5.34 right. shipping. Uh, yeah, you, you, they kind of get you on the shipping there. Um, but there was also, uh, for Prime, there was a Prime one available, I think, for $13. Thirteen oh, my gosh. A little oh, bit more okay. Reputable. Still, the, the, sh the 64 cent one with the shipping is, is cheaper. Um, so, yeah, the app ended up working just fine. I used exactly what was on the CD. Um, I'm not sure if you could go download this, uh, but that just worked yeah, great. It was an Adobe Air app, which is kind of frustrating because you have to make sure you install Adobe Air. But it did mean that it didn't go. It 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 
uh, stayed up to date because Adobe Air is kept up to date. So, and it took an hour. You said to print yeah, about an hour to, for me to do all this. To an uh, hour twenty minutes, um, and to to build it was uh, about what I estimated. Oh, okay. I quite oh, I look at the time, but. Um, that was what I guessed uh, that it took me to do. And it's pretty solid too, once it's finished. You know, I don't think I could do this with a normal uh, uh, puzzle. Um, but yeah, the, and of course, I mean, the big factor is that you could, re, you could redo this with, with anything. You know, the grandkids come over and you try to do a puzzle of them, you know, and then the next set of grandkids come in and, you know, you, know, you don't have to do the exact same puzzle every time, which is kind of cool. So yeah, the J... Ga Zoo 300 piece puzzle. You can get it on Amazon. I found it at Goodwill. Good luck at your local <laughs> thrift store trying to find it. Uh, but it was a pretty, pretty cool gadget. Take a selfie and make a puzzle. With that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. On, on. And we have a uh, video from a new first time submitter. Hi, Chad and Dick. I enjoy watching your show, except for the fact it can be expensive if you're a gadget person like I am. <laughs> yes. I have some gadgets in my kitchen that I don't know what they do and I don't even cook but I can't get rid of them. Anyway, this is a small gadget I found that's just for fun. Keep up the great show, Arliss. And here's the little gadget Arliss found and loves. Oh, is it? Really, this fit? is my new gadget. What? Looks more like it's a new pet, doesn't it? <laughs> it's my little clownfish. I keep it in my swimming pool. It looks real. But in actuality, it's a robot. Doesn't it? I got it at a store for like $5.99. Though I see it on the web it for as much as $15. It has two button batteries. And it's activated with that little car black dot that's a carbon piece in there. So you just put it in the water. And it swims around. Huh. Looks really real. It just it's happy. really neat, isn't it? What more could you want from a gadget? That's cool. You should name it. <laughs> and I, I think I, he shows the box at the end so you can get the brand name. I did find it on Amazon too, but it um, for thirteen dollars. Zuru. Oh, it's called Robo Alive. I, it, it lives up to its name. Definitely. Yeah, isn't it? It's very realistic. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering yeah. how. Uh, I, I was gonna say weatherproof, but I guess, I guess it's totally waterproof. It's, <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah, it's exactly. Be. I, I, I guess I'm wondering, could you put it into like a little pond if you had one in, at the front of your house? You know, and you, keep, you know what? I, I tell you what. The, the problem there would be is um, I saw this. This is a toy fair a very long time ago. It's an old gadget. Uh, probably six or seven years ago. And I think there's just four hours of battery, constant battery gotcha. life. Yeah. You know, a lot, a lot of so people do it just, for parties, you know, yeah, that's it. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Um, <laughs> so, cool. but yeah. all this, thank you very much. All this you will get an Alfred E. Newman picture clearer than the, whatever that <laughs> God awful. You sure you don't rename. want me to send this to you? <laughs> My they be missing a few photos or pictures. <laughs> it's, they oh, should it's rename that game. Uh, you'll get a copy of Mad Magazine, the current issue of Mad, and an Alfred E. Newman photo. We're looking for more videos. Again, um, we would like it if you have not submitted before. That would be great. It's so easy to do. Can can be as short as like like all of his video is like a, a minute and fifteen seconds, uh, a video of a gadget you love, you hate, you have in your attic and you don't know why you can't throw it out. Just make a little video with your cell phone in the horizontal plane, and as long as we can hear you, 
That's pretty much hear you and see you and the gadget and it, and you're in. Okay. Um, so we need a gadget video for next week. Make the little video, put it on YouTube. There's a drop down menu. If you don't want people to stumble on it, uh, when you download it, before you download it, just hit the down arrow and click unlisted. And then only people that you send the UR, uh, the URL to will be able to, uh, watch it. And that's it. Send it to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And do it now. Do it now. Now. Um, very cool. And Cardiff in the Twitch chat is saying you can buy these during the summers at Walmart. They have a turtle one that I really, really want. Oh, wow. So th that's a, a lead on where to get it for a little bit cheaper. Yes. With yes. that, let's move on to the letter. And our letter is from Jerry Mokaby, M-O-C-A-B-Y. The subject is the parrot pot. The parrot pot. Uh, seen this today while looking for parts for my drone. This has gadget of the week written all over it. Uh, Jerry Mokaby. Jerry, I'm sorry if I'm ruining your name. <laughs> but this is a link to the gadget that he saw while looking for parts for his drone, the what? parrot. The parrot pot. Uh, oh. Wait, does it water? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna watch this video here because this might be something I need. Because I always forget to water my plants and then they die. They die eating very fast. Yeah, it looks like this is just m music. It was a Kickstarter oh, video but with music. Oh, so the, the so pot. It... Oh, my God. Oh, I, I, I guess you fill the pot with water. Right. And and the plants are suspended above it. Right. So there's a reservoir underneath, it looks like. Here, there's some tutorial videos. There's some, a reservoir underneath, and then the pot uses that reservoir to water the plant. <laughs> oh, uh, and they... There are eight thousand dollars. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, they. I, I, it sounds like there are eight thousand plants uh, in the information to tell you how often it should get watered. That is, I do need this because. <laughs> well, I, what's the price? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I have I have three plants that are in front of my sink, and uh, they're constantly in a state of dying and being rejuvenated uh, between when I. Uh, so the, the drone company makes a this is, is that a right? parent drone. I thought that it was just like you were Googling it and it just happened to connect. No. I didn't realize that it was actually the, the drone company. Um, what? So, that, oh, it's 70 bucks? Oh. That's not bad. That's, it's yes, expensive, it, but it's not. I was afraid it was going to be like $100. Guess, well, I it guess was one, for, according to that, it was 149 but now, oh, so, you know, it's not even available. Oh, yeah. Right? Available, available soon. Oh. I wonder if that was just the color or if that's all. Oh, maybe, favorite. maybe. Uh, let's see. It's not, yeah, available well, soon. Well, Jerry, you might have come up with a customer. Yeah, for uh, me. Uh, I wish yeah. it, I wish and it wasn't Yeah, and then you'll have to make bucks. a video. You'll have to make a video for us. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, tell us how it works. There's a few things, like, I need, hmm, I want to see, hmm. Yeah, there's a few things. One, it looks like it's a really big pot. The pots that I, the plants that I have are much smaller. Um, so I guess my plants are going to grow and fill the pot. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and then, second of, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, I, I may have to get this and, and test it out. Okay. Well, so far we sold you almost yeah. everything on the show. The problem is, wanna... is that I need I need to buy three and <laughs> at that cost. Well, if it's a big pot, put all three plants in exactly. the pot. Exactly. That's what I yeah. That's what I should do. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah. Because at 80, <laughs> 80 bucks a pop, uh, that's two hundred and ten dollars of pops. Yeah. Um, 
Expensive. Uh, cool. Very cool. Uh, the parent. Oh, wait a pot. minute. Your math is off. Eighty dollars times three what? is two hundred and forty dollars, isn't 240. it? Two forty. Yeah, you're right. I was yeah. thinking of seven instead of. Yeah, because it's seven ninety nine. So I. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ugh. I just uh, lost someone thirty dollars. Keep saying, "What is the name of that thing with the pills?" It is called Port O Pill. Port O Pill, and all the links are on uh, are on the Gizwiz Biz. If you forget it. And with that, we're coming close to the end of our show. Um, I have, yes. I actually just had an idea for the patrons. An idea. I oh, just okay. had an idea, so stick around. So, so, um, and I, ha I just ran it by Josh, and he said that he thought it was cool because we we like to ask the patrons uh, every month for a theme or something like that. And my thought was a uh, user submitted theme, where instead of giving the the uh, patrons a uh, thing to choose from three different ideas, give them a form, and they can submit any idea that they want to me. So it could be any gadget that they think the crappy corner uh, could cover, but the patrons will do a month of patrons submissions, basically. So user-generated ideas uh, for the patrons. Do you like That's that? fine. Sounds yeah, good. Why not? Okay. Well, why not? Then why not? please become a patron. Patreon.com uh, slash gizwiz is our Patreon page. And you will see a link very soon to submit an idea for next month's uh, crappy corner. So that is will be next month's theme is patron ideas for gadgets. Um and with that, I want to give a big thank you to our patrons. You guys make the show happen every single week. You guys are absolutely amazing. Wait, do we get to find out what the heck is it right now? Uh, next well, next week. week. No, okay, the contest ends at midnight tonight. Oh, my gosh. It's, too, it's probably too late for anyone other than the people watching the live stream to get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, yeah, no exp Captain Jay is saying expensive car gadgets. Okay, we... We should say, we <laughs> Wait a minute. Say, Hang on. We're, we love you, patrons. You do support us, but you, I don't think yes, we have... Yeah, you do. Bugatti but Veyrons are not an acceptable gadget <laughs> for us to cover on the Gizwiz. Um, uh, but yeah, thank you so much to the patrons. Uh, with that, if you're watching the live stream, get a guess on gizwiz.biz uh, is the place to play. What the heck is it? If you're catching this on the download, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait till next week to figure out what the heck it was. Uh, and this is the gadget, the full gadget, and nothing but the gadget. So get a guessing if you're watching the live stream. 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers. 24 for hilarious, clever, interesting, or funny answers. And if you're catching this uh, later, you can go and see the next gadget, which I don't even know what it is. So I, I don't, don't know what it is. Oh, man. I, I no, I have a big box that I uh, that I when I on my shows I find something I go, oh this might be a good guess to gadget. So after this show I have to go hunting through the box. You have about five uh, hours, <laughs> six hours yeah, I know. East Coast I know. time uh, to I know. figure it out. Uh, very cool. Also head on over to gizwiz.tv. That's our website where you can subscribe to the show, catch the show live. I don't think we have. Any conflicts for a little while, uh, Thursdays at, at 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time is when we record. And we love having people join our chat room. Thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of The Gizwiz. I'll see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>